Hello, my wonderful and lovely humans. So today is actually tomorrow for you. So hopefully it's Wednesday. Uh, today is Tuesday. I'm recording this uh, video following school. Uh, so uh, if you're watching this, I'm not there. And I kind of warned you guys about that. I'm just have a doctor's appointment. It's no biggie. Um, so just as a quick reminder, the rules for the sub, basically today, is, this is not my classroom. Okay. My rules aren't going to fly. Uh, it's actually your subs rules. Okay. Um, but at the base layer, if your subs do doesn't have any rules, my rules are still there. Okay. So be respectful, be mindful. I will hear about it if you guys are acting up. Okay. Uh, but if the sub says that there's no passes, then there's no passes. Okay. But this is not my classroom today. Okay. Got it. All right, so you guys have two things that you need to be doing today. Uh, the first thing, you guys are going to finish up your REPs. So your REPs might be on a white paper. They might be on a pink paper, okay? It just depends. Um, so basically, I intended for them to be on pink paper, but when I went to make the copies, um, it ran out of pink paper and it failed to warn me. So yeah, I have a whole bunch of white copies. You very well might have a white copy, uh, so if you have a white copy, it's okay. You still have the REPs, okay? And actually the remaining copies that I do have the REPs are on white paper. So if you guys need an extra copy, it's right there, okay? Um, sorry, let me show you what I'm talking about. It's right here on this paper, or sorry, on the table, okay? Um, all right, you guys are actually gonna get kind of a tour here uh, today. You, you'll find out why. Uh, okay, so uh, you're going to do the REPs. Uh, once you're done with the REPs, you guys are going to be setting up your notebooks. Um, so we'll go over that together. Um, now, basically, uh, I've already set up my notebook. Okay, so I do have this, but one lucky individual will purchase this notebook who will have already been set up uh, because I'm going to walk you guys through exactly, this is like a bare notebook right now, but I'm going to walk you guys through exactly how to set that up. So that way you guys can do it while I'm not there. Yeah, we could be productive. Okay. But still like arts and crafts. -y. Okay. But anyways, uh, let's get started with first things. Okay. And the first thing is that we need to finish up these REPs. Okay. So let me go ahead and share this. All right, cool. It says that I'm screen sharing. The first time I recorded this, I wasn't screen sharing. It's, yeah, it sucked. Anyways, uh, so I'm going to start all the way back here. I know that most of you guys finished up like towards the end of these and maybe even completely finish these up, but I know that some uh, classes did not get to this. So we're going to finish this up. We're just going to start from here. Okay. Um, just we'll go through it quickly. Okay. All right. So in general, the lab, and you should be on the sorry, right side of this paper, okay? Uh, in general, in the lab, I will not let you into my lab unless you have your lab contract turned in. So a quick reminder that your lab contracts are due if you guys would like to turn them into the sub. Uh, if they are willing to take them for me, please sub take them for me if you're willing to. Uh, please uh, have the sub take them. Uh, they'll sort them in uh, according to class, please. Uh, but anyways, uh, lab contracts are due by Friday and make sure you have both sides signed, uh, by both your parent and or guardian as well as your signature. Okay. I have had a lot turned in without your guys' signature. So you guys will be hearing from me. Okay. Anyways, uh, you must have your lab contract turned into me before I will allow you into my lab. That's the deal. Okay. All right. So rule number one on my biology lab REPs. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. One. All you need to do is copy down the bolded letters, okay? So it says to be safe. That's rule number one. That's it. Be safe. Uh, now, this can be kind of broad. You guys need to be following instructions, okay? Don't do anything I don't tell you to. Uh, don't play mad scientist. Dear goodness, please don't play mad scientist. Do we really need another COVID, guys? Come on now. All right. Uh, so don't just like be mixing chemicals, random chemicals, okay? You don't know what you could make. It's actually kind of scary. Anyways. Uh, and then lastly, just in general, no messing around. The lab is not the place to play, okay? Be serious about it. Uh, you guys are young adults. Be careful when you are in the lab. Rule number two, assume that all chemicals are dangerous slash toxic, okay? Uh, so you should not, uh, oh, by the way, only copy the bolt. Uh, you should not be just walking up to any random thing in the lab and smelling it or touching it and dear goodness, please do not lick or taste it. Oh my gosh. Mm what have we devolved into? Uh, but anyways, um, don't, don't, don't do that. Mm -mm, no. Okay. 
Uh, rule number three, wear proper lab attire. That's all you need to copy. Wear proper lab attire. That's it. Uh, so what that means, goggles, gloves. Basically, I will tell you guys when you guys need goggles or gloves. I will provide you with those goggles or gloves, okay? Uh, however, if you guys see gloves laying out in the lab, I do not want you to grab them. They are not for you, okay? They're for a class, okay? They, they have an actual purpose. Um, remember what I said, I'm limited on my budget. If I run out of gloves, then I start cutting laps. I don't buy more gloves, okay? Uh, so don't mess around with materials. No, you guys should not be in my lab at all today, okay? Uh, anyways, you guys should also be wearing pants and closed-toed shoes. That's just in case you really need to remove an article of clothing uh, in order to get like uh, something that spilled on you off. Um, we already went over that. Uh, so just, yeah. Also, if you have super long hair, uh, if it's getting in the way, like if it's, I don't know, hopefully not catching on fire. Right. Uh, but if it is in the way, I do have extra hair ties. You guys will have, uh, access to you. All you have to do is ask me. The only thing is, um, I want to make sure you guys know, like that's brand new. Okay. Like I'm not just, letting you guys share hair ties anyways. Uh, okay, uh, all right, rule number four, know the location of the following safety items, okay? So the first safety items, this one you do need to copy all of the things, all of the things, okay? And write the locations of the things. So know the location of the following safety items. Glass disposal, here's what I want you to write for this. Do not touch broken glass. Never touch broken glass. Sorry, just do not bro touch broken glass. Call the teacher. Do not touch broken glass, call the teacher, okay? Period. Uh, you guys don't need to know where the glass disposal is because you will not be cleaning up that mess. That is one mess that Miss Reyes will be happy to clean up for you, okay? I won't be mad. Uh, next, safety shower. So let me give you another little tour of my classroom. So the safety shower is in the back of the lab. If you guys turn to your, I'm guessing your left. Oh, maybe not. For most of you guys, uh, you guys know where the lab is, it's where you're not in my classroom. Uh, but yeah, there's the safety shower. Um, the safety shower, it, you should only, only ever pull it if you are like literally on fire or are covered in acid, okay? Because that, that thing has a ton of water in it and you don't want to pull it. Don't pull it. Anyways, uh, so connected to the safety shower is the eye wash station. I did a demo on how to do it. I'm not going to do it again. Uh, lastly, you have the fire extinguisher, which is weirdly enough at the front of the classroom. So not in the lab, which doesn't make any sense to me. I've complained about it. Uh, but it's in the front of the classroom. So, okay. Uh, in the front of the classroom next to the door. All right. Uh, and lastly, we have rule number five. If you are ever in doubt about what is going on, all you have to do is ask. Okay. So you guys only need to copy when in doubt, just ask. That's it. Uh, so basically if you are not sure, if you cannot remember, if you weren't listening to my instructions, all you have to do is ask, am I going to be a little annoyed? Yeah, probably. I'm not going to lie. I told you guys I'm petty. Uh, but just ask me. Okay. I'd rather be annoyed with you than have to, I don't know, call your parents and admit to them that you did something and got hurt or something, you know? Okay. Just saying. Anyways. Uh, so when you are in doubt, just ask. Okay. All right, so that brings us to our classroom procedures. Now you guys should, absolutely everybody, I don't think any single class of mine got two procedures. So if you didn't, uh, so you guys should all be paying attention at this point, okay? All right, so let's talk about some procedures. Ooh, let me go back really quick. Whoops, wrong way. Okay, uh, so you are, you should have completed the lab side. Now you should be back to the classroom side, okay? Now we're back in the classroom. So procedures, uh, before you guys get to my classroom, here's what I want you to do. And I think, I can't tell if you guys can see me or not on here. So I'm just gonna move my little camera. Uh, anyways, uh, so first of all, I need you guys to go potty. I need you guys to go potty, okay? Go potty before you get here, all right? If you are worried about being late, come in and check in with me first, okay? Um, I won't typically lock you out, period. Um, but don't take advantage of that because trust me, like I said, I am petty. Okay. Uh, if it does become an issue, you and I will have a discussion. We will agree on consequences for constantly being super late to my class and, uh, we'll deal with it. 
Okay. Uh, but for the most part, I am going to be okay with it. If you guys run in here, let me know that you need to use the restroom that you might be a little bit late, go to the restroom. Okay. But also one thing I do really want to make sure you guys understand is that passing period is your time. It is your time to go drink water. It is your time to go to the restroom. Okay. You don't have to ask for permission. Just go do it. But if you want to check in so that you're not late, that's fine. Okay. Uh, so you should also be drinking water. Here's the thing. I get lots of spills in my classroom and I don't like that because it takes a janitor like forever to get here to pick up that spill. So I don't allow cups in my classroom. You can only bring empty cups. Okay. And I highly suggest that you grab some uh, and take it with you for the rest of the day. In fact, get a water bottle. Hey, look at that. Miss Ray's has one. Hey, be cool like me and be a Bisco girl. Yeah. Or don't. Whatever. Uh, but anyways, drink your water before you get here. I don't want to have to interrupt class to let you go drink water. Um, but please remember that this, before you get here, is not an opportunity to hang out, okay? Yes, you'll see your friends. Go say hi to them. But if you are, if I find out that you are just hanging out with your friends, that you are showing up late to class because you want to go hang out with them in the hallway, I will be upset. I will be petty. And I'll leave you with that. Okay. Don't make me take privileges away. Privileges are not a right. Okay. They are privileges. They can be taken. All right. Uh, when you first get to my classroom, uh, make sure that you are getting your assignments. It's not really the bin, uh, but basically you'll be getting them from the front of the classroom. I'll provide further instruction on that when I actually have something like more concrete for you, okay? Uh, two, you're gonna sit in your assigned seats. You guys know where you should be sitting and your sub has a chart with your faces on it and your names on it. Uh, so if you're not sitting in your seat, you're gonna get marked absent, okay? Uh, number three, read the daily slides. So the daily slides are gonna be on the new line board. I don't think I have to show you guys what that looks like. It's the big big old fat TV in the back of the classroom, okay? You guys know it, you're familiar with it, but you will be reading your daily slides. Uh, today's the exception, but that's because I have a sub. Uh, number four, have your materials ready to begin class. So I already told you about pencils. You guys have permission to grab pencils. Grab the pencils before you need them, okay? Uh, you should have that before class even starts. So I really do not want to get through the middle of class and find out you're not doing anything because you didn't have a pencil. You already had permission to get one. Don't ever ask me again. Thanks. Appreciate it. Uh, but please have your pencils, any papers that you need. So if you like forgot that notebook and you need to get that paper, go ahead. Uh, Chromebooks, whatever. Okay. Have that ready to begin class. And if we are continuing work, please grab the assignment that you were working on before because guys, we're probably going to finish it. Uh, anyways. The last thing that you guys need to know is if you have any personal questions, please wait till the end of the class, okay? Um, and I do think that's one of the questions here. Oh, wait, before I arrive to class, I should do one of the two following things. Uh, go to the restroom, drink water. Uh, also, let me explain to you guys about my pass, okay? So I've got this little manatee here. This is my potty pass. If this ever goes missing, I will hold your passes hostage. I will not let anyone go to the restroom. And you can ask any one of my old students about last year because for three months towards the end of school, I definitely didn't let them use the restroom because they took a manatee. Don't mess with my manatees. Anyways, uh, that is my bathroom pass. Uh, please return it to my desk right next to my inbox here, okay? Where you turn in assignments, make sure that it's, it's back here, okay? Because I want to be able to find it in case anybody needs to use it, all right? We have emergencies. But anyways, uh, wait till the end of class. If you want to ask me personal questions, that should go. Ah, that's actually, I skipped something. Anyways, uh, it's all the way here at the bottom. Okay. But what should I ask? Uh, when should I ask Ms. Reyes questions about my grades? At the end of class. Okay. If you want to talk about anything personal, I would love to give you my full attention. I cannot give you any kind of attention really in the middle of class because I told you about my ADHD. It's so bad guys. It really is. Okay. Uh, next during class, here are the procedures during class. Okay. Here's what you should be doing. Do your best to pay attention and keep up with the current work. Okay. Uh, my personal belief is that you should not fall further behind by trying to catch up. Okay. And that's my philosophy on later missing assignments. That is the one that we kind of skipped over there. Uh, do not fall further by trying to catch up. 
doesn't make any sense, does it? So basically think of this. If you guys come into class and you end up sleeping, right? You miss a day's work. Then you come into the class the next day and then you start working on the old and missing work. Well, guess what? Miss Reyes and the rest of the class are working on the new work. So you are still a day behind. Do you understand how you will never get caught up this way? Exactly. When you guys miss an assignment, I expect you guys to come back to class and I expect you guys to keep up with the current work, not the old work, not any future work. I don't know why you would have to work future work. I don't have my stuff together that much. Um, but uh, make sure that you're working on current work because otherwise you will find my, you will fall behind and you will never get caught up. Okay. Uh, number two, I need you guys to participate. Guys, do you like hearing crickets? Because I don't. Uh, I tried to feed you guys the energy that I want to receive. And I hope what you guys are getting is like lively and energetic. Okay. And maybe a little crazy. That's okay. You guys can be crazy. I mean, just a little bit. All right. But anyways, uh, be prepared for me to call on you because I love calling on people who aren't paying attention and who are specifically paying attention to their phones. Uh, so I will call on you. However, if you guys are having a bad day and you guys just don't want to be messed with, like I guys, I told you guys about my ADHD, anxiety, and depression, right? Uh, so I know what a bad day looks like. I know what it feels like. I know that I don't want to be spoken to. I don't want to be seen. I probably just want to crawl in a corner and like not exist for the day. Okay. If that is the case, I understand. I have days like that. Okay. I genuinely do. Uh, if that is the case, let me know. I will leave you alone. I might even let you go sit in my lab where you can just chill out and have a good time. Again, that is a privilege, not a right. Okay. So do not abuse it. If you abuse it, it will be taken away. Okay. Uh, lastly, don't make me mad by getting to the middle of the class and letting me find out that you don't have a paper or a pencil. Okay. You guys already have access to those things. You don't need to ask for permission. You need to grab them before class begins. Okay. We talked about that expectation. All right. At the end of class, if we have time at the end of class, you can do whatever you want. And here's my two rules. Be safe and stay in my classroom. Okay. You guys can be on your phone. You guys can be recording TikToks, whatever. Don't, don't get me in there. Uh, but you guys may do whatever you'd like in my classroom as long as it is safe. And as long as it is in my classroom classroom, not lab. You guys are not allowed to be in my lab. Okay. Don't be in the lab, especially not today. Uh, okay. Number two, feel free to ask me questions about your grades or anything else that is personal. If we run out of time, I will always write you a pass to your next class. Okay. Uh, if you are behind with me and you are going to be late to class, I will always write you a pass. Okay. Like it's no biggie. Like I'm not, yeah. Uh, I'll write you a pass. Just come and talk to me, but please, 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 please wait till the end of class or until like it makes sense. Okay. Like, I think you'll know what I mean when, a time comes when it makes sense to ask me something. Okay. But do me a favor. Don't interrupt me. Don't disrupt me because y'all, we already talked about like my thought train and yeah. Okay. Anyways. All right. In case of a sub, Hey, hey, hey here's my rules. And I was really hoping to get through this yesterday, but obviously that didn't happen. So in case of the subs, like I said, subs rules first, then come mine. Okay. If the sub says no passes, you're not going to get any passes. Okay. Not my classroom today. It is the subs. You will respect the sub as you would respect me. Okay. So if you care about me in any way, shape or form, guys, please let me know. A girl can take a day off. Like I seriously, it's not easy. Uh, in case of disaster. Okay. So just in case none of my plans happen, right? What should you always do? Go check canvas. Okay. Email me, have your sub. I don't know. Email me, call me. The sub has all the information. You guys have canvas check canvas first. Okay. Don't send me an email, check canvas, and then send me an email if you really need to. Okay. And please like maybe one person per class. Cause trust me, I am tracking that on my phone. Okay. I told you guys, I have like a phone addiction, just as bad as you guys, except I know that. And I, I set boundaries for myself by literally putting it out of sight, out of mind in my drawer. So the point is no cell phones. Okay. Anyways. Uh, also a little Mexican wisdom for you guys. This is something my dad would constantly tell me. Los flojos trabajan doble. What does that mean? The lazies work twice as hard. Okay. When you are lazy, you don't do it right the first time. What are you going to have to do? Do it again. Okay. So that's why you work twice as hard. Uh, sometimes that's the case. Sometimes it's not, but usually it is the case. Okay. So don't be lazy about it. Just get it done. Get it out of the way. Okay. 
Uh, all right. New line board, AKA the TV. We need some rules about this because people feel all too much entitlement to just walk up to that board and start messing around with it. Guys, like I'm okay with artwork. I love artwork. In fact, please draw on my desk with dry erase markers. Okay. Like that's what it's there for. I spent a lot of time doing that. Uh, but anyways, uh, no, don't, don't just assume that you guys have permission to touch my board, please. Okay. Uh, ask me for permission. I probably will give you permission to do so, but I, it feels violating. Like, don't just grab my stuff. Like, you know, you know. Okay. Uh, and number two, oh yeah. Draw my desk. Please draw my desk. I love artwork. Just don't erase Pig Paul. I really like Big Paul. He's, he's cool. Anyways. Uh, okay. Cell phones. Oh, my favorite topic. So we've already went over this, but here's my rule with cell phones. Okay. You have a three chance system at the beginning of class. You're going to get a warning. Okay. Uh, that's for the entire class. And then in the middle of class, if I see you on your cell phone and you're distracting me enough to the point where I notice you, because I, that's pretty easy because of my ADHD and everything, uh, but you'll get a warning the first time. And after that first time, if I see it again, and it really is a problem, I will be taking it. Okay. Now here's the thing. I'm going to give you two options with me taking it. You can either hand it over or you can get out. Those are the two options. Okay. Uh, what you need to understand about getting kicked out is that you will get a yellow pass. And I don't know if that's the gold room. I listen, I get them confused all the time. The point is, is that I will direct you to uh, one of the security guards and I will let them take you wherever it is you need to go. Okay. But you will be written up for cell phones. I am strict about this one thing. Yeah. Uh, so you guys can choose to give it up or get out. Uh, but I will promise you that I won't turn it into the office it, unless unless you and I have spoken about it. Okay, if it's like a real chronic issue, then you and I will talk about it. But I promise I won't, at this point, take it to the office. It'll stay in my desk until the end of the class period, and I will hand it back gladly to you. Just make sure you don't forget because I will. Okay? Uh, all right. Uh, some final thoughts. Okay, so here's what's up. I already told you guys about this. Remember that you are earning your grade every day you walk in here. Every day you don't walk in here, you are earning your grade. I will never give you a grade you didn't earn, okay? Number two, los flojos trabajan doble. I already told you. If you guys are lazy, you're gonna end up working twice as hard. Do it right the first time. Uh, number three, do not fall further behind by trying to catch up. You will never get caught up. Uh, number four, and I say this with all of the love in my heart, you are capable. You are smart and you are loved, okay? You are capable, you are smart, and you are loved. And here's the thing, guys. How do I know you're loved? Because I love you. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, so genuinely, by the end of the school year, I may not know you today, but by the end of the school year, I will genuinely love you, okay? Um, I am dead serious when I say I go home and I talk to my parents about, oh my goodness, this kid did this. Oh, I was so excited about this, that. Oh, my kids are so smart, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you guys are my kids, okay? I brag about you all the time. I love you, I do, okay? And number five, you are human. And to be human is to be flawed and to make mistakes. And it's okay. That's how we learn, okay? That is science, actually. Make mistakes and you learn from those mistakes and then you make some adjustments and then you try it again and hopefully it works out. Okay. But to be human is to be flawed, to make mistakes. So don't ever beat yourself up for that. Okay. All right. Uh, alrighty. So that brings me to the end of my REP's presentation. Start setting up the notebook. Okay. So first of all, let me give you a look at what you guys have going on here. Ooh, hold on a second. Let me switch that camera back. All right, so here's the deal, guys. Uh, on the, sorry, at the front of the classroom, you guys have this uh, black table up here by the front of my desk, okay? I have laid out in order of when you will need them. Uh, all of the assignments that are gonna get glued into the notebook today, okay? Uh, so if you're going to be gluing them, you're going to need a pencil box. What did I say about my pencil boxes? Don't split them up. Take the whole pencil box back with you to your desk, okay? Uh, but anyways, you're gonna need one of each of these things up here. Uh, when it comes to the construction paper, make sure you pick out whatever color you want. Also, I want to point out the fact that I have extra copies of the REPs up here, okay? So uh, don't get the REPs if you don't need them, okay? Uh, which hopefully you would have just finished doing. I probably should have mentioned that at the beginning of the video. 
I think I did in one of my other, but I'm not restarting this one. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Uh, so grab, uh, one of each of those assignments, pause the video if you need to. Okay. Um, all right. So let me show you what your finished copy is going to look like. First of all, look at here. Oh, uh, let me balance my camera better. Whew. All right. So uh, basically here's my front cover, right? Uh, so you guys should all get a sticker from me. Um, I might need to make copies. I, I do need to make copies actually. That's part of my plan today. Uh, I'm gonna make copies of these. Uh, you guys, I have suspended selling these for now because I'm not here to like deal with the money or hand out the books or whatever. Uh, as soon as we open this, okay, you got your front cover over here. We are going to take the first two pages and we're going to make a pocket slash folder. I'm going to show you exactly guys how to do that. So don't stress out on the next page, which is actually going to be called page one. Okay. So this is actually your page one. Page one is going to be your CER scoring rubric. Okay. It should be the first blue thing that is on the table over there. The second thing that you guys are going to get is a trifold copy of my classroom expectations. Okay. Now this copy on the back, it should say like glue this page down. All you're going to, you all, all you guys are going to do is fold the big paper in half. It becomes a, uh, a foldable. Okay. Uh, you just glue the back page on to the page of your notebook. This is page two. That's it. Okay. I want you guys to know, basically I want, I want you guys to be able to refer back to those in case you ever need them or in case you're upset with me, in case I'm upset with you, whatever, it's there, okay? Uh, page number three, you guys see that? Page number three, make sure that you're labeling the pages too. Uh, page number three is gonna be how to graph, okay? It's this blue paper, right next to it is another foldable. Look at that, a full page. So all you have to do is fold it in half, glue the very last part. Actually, these two I will not have available for you guys because, well, we'll talk about it. Um, these ones we're going to do when I come back from my doctor's appointment. After that, on page number five, we're going to have another folder. And this folder is going to catch anything that we have extra from our Africa storyline. And also, this is one thing I did not set up, but this is eventually going to be replaced by an Africa storyline cover page. You guys are going to, this is what you're going to be using your um, construction paper for. Uh, it's going to get glued onto here, hopefully towards the edge, because this paper feels different than a uh, regular notebook paper. Uh, but anyways, it kind of creates like a tab almost. Uh, so you can easily find these storylines and you're going to find that we have a lot of storylines. So it, it's nice to have these little dividers. Okay. Uh, but anyways, that is going to go there. Um, as you guys can see, I have simply written what is going to go there. Okay. And that's just to remind myself, like, clearly I didn't have time to glue this in. Right. I didn't have time to glue it in, but I do know what goes here. This is like going to serve as a reminder to me that this page requires something on here. Okay. And that's the Africa storyline cover page. All right. Uh, anyways, that is page number six. Okay. Now here's the thing. This is really hard for me to like reflect in a digital notebook, but if you guys open all the way to the back of your notebook. Okay. So here's like the back cover of my notebook. Um, you guys are going to make another folder back here. Okay. Another catch all, whatever kind of miscellaneous stuff you don't have the time to put away right now. Uh, it can hopefully go back here. Okay. But you guys are going to make another folder again. I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. Uh, and then finally you guys finished up your REPs. You guys are going to do that directly. So your lab REPs are going to go directly behind this folder that you just made. And right next to it. So these guys should be buddies on either, either side of each other. Okay. You are going to go ahead and glue the classroom stuff over here on the left. All right. And I'm going to show you exactly how to cut this without having to cut it. So just hold on to your horses. Okay. But that is all that you're going to be putting in here today. All right. So let's go ahead and get this sucker set up. So first of all, right, here's my cover page. Now, uh, clearly I don't have my name on here but that's because this isn't gonna be mine. This is gonna be one of yours. One of you lucky duckies, okay? Uh, now, here's the thing. I also really need you guys to write, hopefully like right here, this would be really helpful. Like right here within the banner, put your class period, okay? Please put your class period. Um, if I ever mix up your notebooks, trust me, I know your, I will eventually know your names. Right now I don't. But 
if I ever mix these notebooks up, it is really hard for me to remember exactly what class period you're in. Like, trust me, I can place you with other people, but I don't know what class period you're in. So do me a favor, just write your class period right here within the banner, okay? All right, uh, so when you open this up, here's the left cover. Oh my gosh, why didn't I just make this bigger? Oops. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I feel dumb. All right. Well, anyways, uh, okay. So here is the uh, front cover. Over here is our first page. Now we need to, if we're following Miss Reyes' notebook, right? We need to make a folder on the right side here. So here's how we make a folder. We're going to take the first page, okay? I'm going to flip that page over. I'm going to take the top corner. I am going to lay it flat along the edge of my notebook here. So you guys see how I'm making a triangle and my lines are now going the opposite way that they regularly would be, okay? So I have made a triangle. Guess what? This is an ugly folder. I don't want this sucker hanging out. That's just ugly, right? So here's what I'm gonna do. All I'm gonna do is fold it back over. Oh, look at that. That That is close to a pocket or a folder, isn't it? Okay. Now, you are only going to need two pieces of tape, two small pieces of tape. And I'm going to use some pretty colorful tape here. Um, and that the purpose of it is just so that you can see where it's going to go, okay? And I want you to kind of see how long this is going to be. So the first piece of tape, you only need to uh, really fit here. And you don't want to go too far over the edge. Um, so just be careful about how long of a piece of tape you get. Uh, but you do want it uh, to mostly cover that edge there. So I'm going to, once again, make sure that this is nice and flat, okay? Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and stick my tape on there about halfway, all right? Then I'm going to take that second page that is going to be part of my pocket. I'm going to fold it flat over, fold it down nice and flat. And this is how you don't get any wrinkles in your notebook, okay? I'm going to hold it nice and flat, and I am going to curl that over, okay? Do not try to you know, be lazy and hold it up and do it. Okay. You won't, you will get wrinkly paper. If you lay it nice and flat, it will not be wrinkly. It will not really fatten this notebook up. Okay. So that is your first piece of tape here. You still need one at the bottom because this is not a pocket. This is a hole. Okay. All right. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take something that's just about twice as long as this, maybe even a little bit longer because you need to cover a good amount down here. Okay. So that's about twice as long, would you say? Ooh. All right, I'd say that's about twice as long as my other one, okay? So only two pieces of tape. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna place it here along the bottom. Remember about half of it is sticking out of the other end, okay? This is nice and flat for me. I'm gonna flip that page over one last time. Uh-oh, my third page got stuck on there. Oh, well, uh, okay. So I'm going to lay it nice and flat one more time, and I'm going to roll it up one last time. And now I have a pocket, okay? Nothing is going to fall out the bottom. Nothing is going to fall out the side, okay? So all you need are two pieces of tape. You just fold that first page over, okay? And you lay it flat on the page that is going to be the other side of the pocket. That's it, okay? You have made your first folder. All right. The next thing you guys are going to need for your notebook, let me check my notebook. Oh, is the CER scoring rubric. And I was a little messy and I didn't grab that before. So let me go grab that now. Woo. I'm back. Okay. Uh, also, guys, if you needed to pause the video for the folder, that would have been a great time to pause the video for the folder, okay? All right, so here's the deal. Uh, you guys need your CER rubric. It looks like this blue paper. It's a little half sheet, okay? All you're literally going to do, and here's what I really recommend, okay? You don't have to put like a crazy gobby amount. Like It doesn't have to be like a piece of gum or something, okay? But you do want to put a pretty generous amount on there. Do you guys see about how much purple is going on there? You don't see huge chunks of purple in there, okay? But you definitely wanna make sure you get the corners on there. Otherwise, it's probably gonna fall out, not gonna lie. Uh, and sometimes things do fall out. We just need to glue them back in, it's no biggie. Uh, but if you guys see corners popping up, definitely try to glue those down. It's okay if you get out on the edges, okay? Uh, just make sure you kinda give it a chance to dry there. All right? 
Okay, so that's my CER scoring rubric. And uh, like my notebook said, that CER uh, rubric is going to be page number one. So I'm also going to make sure that I go ahead and write page number one here at the bottom left corner. Okay, so this is my page number one, which means this guy over here is going to be my page number two. Okay, now page number two. Let's check my notebook. Page number two has my syllabus, my full page syllabus folded in half. Okay. So here's how this guy works. You guys have a full sheet of paper, right? Just fold that guy in half. Make a hamburger fold. I remember when we used to call it hamburgers. Hamburgers and hot dogs, right? Here we go. All right, so you just fold that guy in half, all right? And if you look all the way on the very back side of the paper, and you guys already got to look at my syllabus. Here's the front page, that's me. And over here is your grading. And then here are your classroom expectations, okay? It's just the a uh, roar model, okay? Um, anyways, over here, don't worry about this. Over here, it says glue this page onto your notebook. Guess what you're gonna do? You're gonna glue that page onto your notebook. You guys are so smart. Okay, anyways, like I said, you know, generous amounts, but not a ridiculous amount, okay? And I, I really think that most of you guys maybe remember how to glue things, but I really hope so. I feel like that's kind of one of the important things that you should take away when you go into like kindergarten or preschool, hopefully. All right, so there's pages one and two, sweet. All right, let's take a look one last time, or no, not one last time, but another time. Uh, so we're gonna look at these two. So I told you guys that I didn't actually give you these two assignments. Let me show you what we're gonna do, okay? This is for tomorrow. Uh, here's what we're gonna do now. Uh, this is going to be page number three and number four. So I'm just going to go ahead and mark that. All right. Now here's what we're going to do. Uh, just like I told you guys with the Africa storyline cover page, I didn't get a chance to actually do that. I'm going to write the title here. So what I'm going to write on this side and guys, I recommend doing it in pencil. I'm going to do it in pen because I need you guys to be able to see, but please try pencil. It won't show up as bad on the other side. Uh, but I'm going to write how to graph handout all right and what that's going to do is serve as a uh, serve as a reminder to me that when i do get this assignment and it is ready to be glued in typically i have you guys fill these out before you glue them in uh what you are going to do here on this page this page is already spoken for right this page needs the how to graph a handout so if you guys are ever missing an assignment, you think you skipped something, whatever, blah, 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 blah. Make sure that you write the title of whatever it is that's supposed to go in there on that page. So that way you're not accidentally getting on the wrong page or whatever. Okay. Uh, which means if we look over here, this is the how to graph, how to graph worksheet. All right, and the reason that I have you guys do this stuff is because you, you're you literally gonna glue stuff on top of that words. You're never gonna see those words, okay? And as you can see the green paper through this, like you're never, you won't even know that that was there, okay? So always, if you don't have a paper assignment handy for you, just write what belongs on that page, okay? Really helps you to keep up this notebook, especially later on, all right? Okay, so now we can look at Miss Reyes's page number five, which happens to be another pocket. Here's your second opportunity to get a shot at practicing this, okay? So now this is a little bit opposite what we did. It's still the same idea. We're gonna take the top corner of the page of the side that I don't want that uh, folder to be on, okay? I'm going to fold it down the middle of my notebook. And this one's a little bit weirder, especially because we're towards the beginning of it, but you know, just roll with it, I guess. Um, it won't be messed up. Uh, now you're going to have that triangle here. We don't like that triangle, it's ugly. We wanna hide it. So we're gonna tuck it behind and lay it flat, all right? Once we do that, when we get a new color of uh, tape, I'm gonna use pink. Woo! All right, uh, once we get that, oh, that's a little too long. Let me cut that down. Make sure it's not super long because trust me, your papers will get stuck to it. It will be annoying and you will not like that pocket, okay? Uh, all right, anyways. 
Oh no, I have tape stuck to my finger. Sorry. Okay. So like last time, I'm going to lay my paper nice and flat. Don't get lazy with this. You will regret it. Uh, okay. I'm going to lay it nice and flat, leave about half of my piece of tape hanging over the edge. Okay. Lay that down. And then I'm going to flip my page back. Only the page, the back of the page. Okay. Uh, I'm going to roll that piece of tape over the edge. Uh, remember, I'm holding this nice and flat, okay? So that way it's not wrinkly. And I'm just rolling that piece of tape over, okay? So now my first piece of tape is fixed on there. I need a, one that is going to be about twice the length of the one that I started with, okay? I think that's what I got a little overexcited about. I was trying to do the long one first. Don't do the long one first, trust me. Uh, okay, now that I've got my short side one, and this one's curling a little bit, uh, I'm going to place about half of that so it's hanging off the edge of my notebook, okay? And I'm going to lay that nice and flat. Remember, I'm holding my page down flat so that way we're not having any wrinkles, okay? I'm going to flip, and it's easier to like grab through there, uh, but I'm going to flip that page back over so that I can roll this piece of tape up. Now here's the thing, make sure you're not grabbing too many pages. Make sure you're grabbing the right amount of pages because you can make like a three or four or five page uh, notebook or sorry, folder if if you don't pay attention, okay? Okay, uh, so anyways, there's our folder, beautiful. And lastly, what do we have? Ooh, there's the folder. Oh wait, ooh, I forgot something. I need to write page five on here. Ooh, glad I caught that, okay? So that's page five. Uh, okay, over here on the right side is for your Africa storyline cover page. Now, whenever we do a cover page like this, there is a method behind the madness, basically. All right, and here's how this works. So, like I told you a little bit earlier, this paper is gonna feel a lot different than the notebook paper, okay? And that's that, that's the reason why. Um, I want to be able to feel that because when this sucker is closed, that paper is going to pop right open, okay? That is going to take me very quickly to my Africa Storyline cover page. So that's the idea here, is that you want it pretty close to the edge. It doesn't matter what edge, as long as it's close to an edge, okay? So I'm going to go ahead, remember to really pay attention to the corners. And since this one is going to be all the way on the corner, I'm just going to, yep, okay? Get that glue on there. Remember, it doesn't really need to be globby, okay? It doesn't need to be globby, but it needs to be generous, okay? I'm gonna glue that construction piece of paper close to the edge here so I can make sure that I can feel it. If you guys want it hanging over the edge, that's fine. All right, I'm gonna glue that nice down flat, okay? Now there's a reason I didn't write my page because as you can see, now it's covered a little. So I would write it on top. Anyways, once you have that, we got this nice little Africa storyline header thing. I, I just think it's cute. Okay. So guess what? Africa storyline is about lions. So cute. And actually this line in particular, you're going to find out is named Lulu and we love Lulu. All right. There it is. Uh, and I definitely did not put enough glue on the, yeah, I'm going to just re-up that. Okay. There we go. Up this corner, make sure it's nice and flat. Yay. Okay. Boom. Done. Beautiful. All right. And the one last thing we need to make sure that we do to this page is make sure that we mark it with a page number six. But as you can see, now I can just write it on top. No biggie. Okay. All right, once you are done with your Africa Storyline cover page, what you're gonna do is flip all the way to the back cover of your notebook, okay? So like close it, all right? You're gonna open that and we're gonna make a pocket on this left side. So remember what I said, you need to have the page on the opposite side of where you want the folder to be, okay? You're gonna take that corner, take the corner of the page, fold it down the middle. I know they look scary, guys, but these pockets are not hard, I promise you, all right? And if somebody is really getting the idea of this and somebody is really struggling, please, 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 please help each other, okay? Uh, anyways, so now I've got a big, ugly triangle. I don't like that. I want to hide it. It's going to get tucked into the folder here, okay? Uh, so now I can put my other pieces of tape along here. What color am I going to use this time? How about blue? 
All right, so my first piece of tape is not super long. Remember, it only has to cover this distance here. Uh, you don't want too much overhang because then what happens is that it gets stuck to your pages. Uh, so once, remember, I'm holding this down nice and flat so I'm not getting any wrinkles. I'm gonna flip over this page, hold it down once again, nice and flat. And fold, sorry, roll the piece of tape over the edge. That's it. All right, one, oh, flip that guy back so that it's back to the front page. I don't know, I just like doing it this way, guys. Um, you want a piece of tape that's about twice as long as that original. All right, gonna lay it nice and flat on here. Boom, boom, okay. And then roll it over. Once again, hold that page nice and flat and roll that guy up. Boom, done. Easy peasy, got another pocket. So you guys have had an opportunity to practice three pockets today. I hope you guys are pocket pros, okay? All right, here's the next thing that we need to do. Let's take a look at my notebook. And remember guys, this one's really hard to like put up on a digital notebook. Anyways, uh, so you guys have these REPs now. Hopefully these are filled out for you guys. And you don't really need to use a scissor. Let me show you. All right. So I have my REPs here. Yours should be filled out, obviously. Uh, once again, I'm just going to repeat myself. I don't typically have you guys glue things in before you have done the work on the paper. It's just, it's kind of hard to do it in the notebook when you could just be doing it all on a piece of paper. Okay. Uh, but anyways, uh, this is a full piece of paper. Here's what you're going to do. You fold that piece of paper in half, okay? And hopefully you have a nail. If you don't have a nail, ask somebody who does have a nail. You're going to pinch right at that crease, and you are going to drag your nail across. It's just going to make that crease real nice and crisp, okay? Then you're going to flip it backwards. Fold it again on that edge and do it one more time, all right? What that does is it creases it real nice. Okay, make sure it's like a real nice, clean, you'll feel it, okay? It should be almost thinner than how this regular paper feels, okay? But it's gonna be thin. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay it flat, okay? Lay it flat, put both hands on either side and you're going to start to tear from the top, all right? Go slowly so that way you don't accidentally make any mistakes. If you're confident in this, you can go a little bit quicker, okay? But as you can see, that's a pretty clean line, isn't it? Yeah, buddy. All right. Anyways, that is going to go on the back of your notebook. So I'll just put this in for this person. Well, should I? Nah, you guys are probably going to have a finished copy. I guess I'll stick it in there just in case they want it. Uh, anyways, your classroom is going to go on the left side and your lab rules, expectations, sorry, uh, rules, expectations, and procedures is going to go on the right. Okay. So just glue those down just like we did with the other ones. These don't have page numbers, okay? And that's because these are considered reference pages. And typically reference pages are like Roman numerals and stuff. Anyways, the point is we're not uh, going to be doing anything with this, all right? Okay, as soon as you're done, you're done, okay? Uh, let me flip my camera back so I can talk to you guys. All right, like I said, once you are done with your notebook, you are done, 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 okay? Uh, your notebook is set up. We can start on new stuff. Okay. Uh, I'm proud of you guys. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful and lovely day. Please take care of yourselves. Please be safe. Okay. I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye.